in the developed world today. People paying $4,000, $6,000, $12,000 in out-of-pocket expenses on a monthly basis just to stay alive and to keep their kids alive. More than 4 million of our fellow Texans in the least insured state in the country unable to afford insurance, the ability to see a doctor, take their kid to a therapist, be at their best in their life. The county jail system, largest provider of mental health care services in this state right now. So screwed up, so bad, that people with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, not uncommon for their family members to tell me that they got arrested on purpose to be taken to the county jail, the one place where they are guaranteed by law to receive the, the housing, the clothing, the food, the psychotropic medications, the therapy, if they can get it, that makes life bearable for them at extraordinary cost. $400 a night in the Harris County Jail, which is the largest provider of inpatient mental health care services in the state of Texas. Let that sink in. You add up all the inpatient beds at all the public mental health care institutions in a state of 28 million, and the largest is the Harris County Jail. 400 bucks a night to keep someone locked up. $14.50 a day to provide outpatient mental health care services where they're then free to finish their education here, to work a job, to pay their taxes, to shoulder their share of the burden, to raise their families, to do whatever they're supposed to do in their lifetimes if only they are well enough to do it. What if we decided, again, not as Democrats, but as people, as Americans, who are capable of great things when we put our minds to it, that we will leave this country on guaranteed, high-quality, universal health care for every child, every woman, every man, and every community, no matter who they are. And the state 